So in New York City, we've seen three months through January uh, of the last 12 months of positive RevPAR growth. And I think February is going to come in slightly positive uh, based on the preliminaries. So that's good. Um, but it's absolutely worth considering that we have 15,000 rooms under construction. If all those rooms opened tomorrow, that'd be a 14% supply growth. They won't all open tomorrow. But even if you think about that number divided by half, that they, these 15,000 rooms open in the next two years, that's still a 7% supply growth number. Now, New York City is one of those rare markets where you could argue if you build it, they will come. But will they come in those large numbers? That's going to be um, interesting to note. The occupancies in, in, in New York City have traditionally been very, very high, basically the highest of, of any market on an annualized basis. And those may come down a little bit just because of the supply influx. It's still going to be a healthy market. It's just going to depress the occupancies. And I don't think room rate growth is anything to write home about. It's still going to be a, a fairly healthy market, as I said, but really um, no breakout performance.